This is Heather from Flint Hills Technical College's Interactive Multimedia Design Program, and I'm here today to teach you how to use Netflix on a web browser. First off, you're going to want to open Netflix.com using the web browser of your choice. I'm going to use Mozilla Firefox. At this point, you'll see the option to start a free month, which you'll have to do in order to access the Netflix videos. All you'll have to do is enter an email, a password, and some credit card information to become a member. Once you have that done, you'll be able to click the Member Sign-In button in the upper right-hand corner of the Netflix homepage. To sign in, you'll need to enter the email and password associated to the Netflix account you had just created. If there are multiple people using your Netflix account, there is an option to create profiles within your account. We'll get to that another time, though. Once you've signed in, Netflix will redirect you to your own personal Netflix library. Here, you can see that everything has been categorized for you. Some of the categories include popular on Netflix, which are television shows and movies that are frequently viewed by other various Netflix users and rated highly, comedies, TV shows, documentaries, because you watched, enter some sort of title here, and so on. Within every category, you'll see a thumbnail for each movie. If you hover over the thumbnail with your cursor, a red arrow will appear. This is where you would click to begin playing your selection. But if you keep your cursor there, an additional information pop-up will appear with the title of the movie, the rating, length of the film, a brief description, headlining actors, the director, all sorts of information. At the bottom of this pop-up, there will be a member average rating. Out of five stars, however many of these stars are red indicates the average rating by Netflix users. The more stars, the more the consumers enjoy the film. When hovering over the categories, gray scroll arrows appear at the beginning and the end of each category. If you place your cursor over these arrows, you can scroll through a list of movies. You are able to go back and forth in search of something to watch. Now, let's find a movie. I'm a huge fan of the Avengers, so let's search for that. First, I'm going to click up in the search bar. It is located in the upper right-hand corner of the Netflix homepage. In here, you are able to search by title, actor, director, genre. I'm going to just type in The Avengers. As I type in the title of my film, Netflix is going to guess what I'm trying to search for and list some suggestions. By the time I press the A in Avengers, the top result is the movie I'm looking for. I could click the suggestion, which will take me directly to a page with all the details about the movie, or I could continue typing out the title and pressing enter. By typing the entire title and pressing enter, I'm brought to a page with search results for the title I had typed in. The result at the top are closer to what I'm looking for, and as you scroll down, the results start to vary. Once I'm on the page describing the movie I've selected, I can click on the thumbnail to view my movie. If I click the full screen button in the bottom right hand corner, I can watch my movie in full screen mode. In order to exit this mode, you can just press the escape key in the very top left hand corner of your keyboard. Now that you know how to navigate through Netflix, go see if they offer your favorite film. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the endless hours of entertainment that is now at your fingertips. Just make sure that after your first month, if you don't want to continue your Netflix subscription, to cancel your account. Otherwise, that you will be charged $8 a month just to have your Netflix account sitting there.